back. Hey, Jan? Are you red light? Jan? I'm home, sweetie. How was your day? I had an audition. Good part? A middle-aged, nagging, alcoholic housewife. Oh. Typecasting. <laughs> that doesn't bother you. It doesn't. They're lost. Power? What? Don't you ever feel that you're, you're not fulfilling yourself? How low does that question? Well, don't you think that, that maybe you keep yourself too much in check? Well, I keep myself in check just the right amount. Just this side of dementia. What? <laughs> no. But seriously, Howard. It's not good for you. You've got to let yourself go sometimes. Look at the difference. Look at this. I mean, I feel like a rag picker next to you. You just don't act spontaneously. If you walk around keeping everything inside of you, one day you're just going to turn on your mother with an axe. <laughs> well, just what wildly spontaneous thing do you have in mind? Well, I don't know. If I had to tell you, it's not spontaneous. <laughs>
stop. They'll be here. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. motherhood speeches. I'm not going to wear one. She can't intimidate me. Very up, Howard. Do you mind if I put on the television set, Jan? I want to get the news just to see what the Knicks did. Oh, no. Go right ahead. Oh, oh wait a minute, George. Don't turn it on. Just a second. The Knicks, the grown man. Oh, it's the heater. You see, the, the, the steam heat in this building is worse than erratic. I, the furnace is made of plastic or something. It melts. Well, we're not wired for one of these. I ain't supposed to have one. It's okay. Go ahead. You see, if you put on too many lights at once, it blows the fuse. I'll have no more success. It's not like you, Howard, to have something you shouldn't have. It's like him. I mean, he's not a saint. Thank you. <laughs> Did you know about this, George? Oh, yes. But you never told me. It didn't seem very important. Well, I think it's interesting. Howard, I've always considered you so proper. Oh, he's pretty proper. It won't just a proper amount. <laughs> so I'd have to pay to have the place rewired, and that means they'd raise the rent, and it's too high as it is, so I, uh, I cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never known that. On 65th Street today, an unknown sniper shot two men who were apparently just out for a walk. The shooting occurred just outside the park in the vicinity of West End Avenue. Hey, that's right near here. The victims identified as 18-year-old Jose Ramos. I'm going to rat it again. Gilbert Washington right, of Manhattan. Police have not yet apprehended this night. Fire in Queens today raged for more than seven hours before firemen were able to put it out. You, you know, I could have seen that. What? We had that... With the rifle? Somebody I saw? That building is in the right location. Yeah, that apartment looks out over the park at about 65th Street. Well, that's... Well, did you see something or, or didn't you? I don't understand. I don't know. I, I don't know what I saw. I saw a flash, I think. I... I heard a sound like a shot. So it might have been a backfire. And then I saw somebody with a rifle. That might have been something else. I don't know. It could have been just a shadow. Well, report it. Well, there's nothing really to report. I mean, I'm not, not certain in my own mind. Howard, report it. Let the police find out if it's... Jan's right. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You have to report it, Howard. I mean, I, I don't see how you, how you could hesitate about it. Well, uh, just look at this logically now. I mean... What are the chances of my actually having witnessed something like that, huh? It's infinitesimal. Oh, Howard, don't be so logical all the time. Well, you get the point, don't you, George? I mean, I'd just be offering a highly subjective account. Yes, I see your point, certainly. Yeah. And, and it has merit. Don't say that, George. Just a minute, please. Howard. Oh, go on. on. Go on, huh? Go on. This is very interesting. Hello? Uh, yes, I, uh, I think I have some information on that. Mr. Fulham? Yes? Take the brush. Oh, of course. Yeah, come on in. Uh, sit down. Can I get you anything? No, no thanks. Coffee? There's no bother. I got some made. Howard, who are you talking to? Oh, hi. I'm Detective Roush, Mrs. Falloon. Oh, I'm not Mrs. Falloon. Oh, Miss Richards is my, uh, fiancé. Not really. Oh, uh, I imagine you're here about the uh, sniper. No, about the shooting. I don't know if it was a sniper yet, do we? 
Were the victims killed? They didn't say on the news. When you called up about the shooting last night, uh, you were both present, or uh, were you the only witness? Oh, no, no. Jan was with me, but she uh, didn't really see anything. Were you smoking? No. Well, you can tell me it's okay. No. Drinking. Well, yeah, a bad drink, a drink and a half. But there was nothing wrong with my faculties, if that's what you're getting at. Oh, no. His faculties are always in perfect working order. Come on. But you were, uh, you were here when the shooting took place, is that right? I guess so. Yeah, well, Jan was only tangentially involved, really. Well, what do you mean? Well, I mean that uh, she was never aware that an incident had taken place. You were here. Well, I was here, but uh, I wasn't paying attention. You saw nothing? No. Heard nothing? No. Well, how far away from Mr. Flum were you? Not very far. Well, and she didn't see anything because she wasn't looking for anything. But you were. Well, no, not exactly. No. You want to show me the window? Yeah. yeah it's right over here. I probably didn't see anything because I wasn't really at the window. I didn't have any clothes on. Yeah, that's the building over there. That, uh... Over there, huh? Yeah. Well, you can't see the park from here. Yeah, well, no, no, no. I, I never, uh... I never said I could. Well, how'd you learn about the victims? Well, on television, the 11 o'clock news. Well, that's four hours later. Well, I explained that on the phone last night. Mm -hmm. All right, which window did you see the flash come from? Well, I uh, don't know exactly. It's uh, in the top half of the building there somewhere. Well, you don't know exactly. It's the top half of that building somewhere, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll close on. Can you give me a description of the man did the firing? Well, I'm afraid I didn't get a very good look at him. Now, wait a minute. Last night, when you called down to the precinct, you said the man was a male Caucasian. That's right, isn't it? A male? Yeah, that's right. Well, that's a long way over there. You can't see all that well. Oh, I know. It's far away, you know. Well, well did you ask the people in that building? I mean, somebody must have heard or seen something. We're conducting an investigation right now. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. I'm sure you are, but... Well, did anybody hear anything? Did you find out anything? Mr. Falloon, I'm sorry, but we can't give out that information. Oh, can't give it up. You know, I don't know why I made this report in the first place. Of course you should have reported it. Look, it doesn't matter whether you saw anything or not. The police follow up on all these kind of leads, no matter how flimsy they are. Isn't that right, sir? Oh, yeah, we're very thorough. Oh, I, I was wearing a towel, by the way. I don't want you to think I was standing at the window naked. Jan, he doesn't care about that. I never can tell. Every piece of information might be important. <laughs> Thanks for your cooperation. That's it? That's it. That's all you need? Right. Well, if we need any more, we'll, uh, we'll contact you. If you find out anything, you'll let us know, won't you? Well, you see, that's not normal procedure. In case we need anything, we'll, we'll contact you. Thank you, Mr. Falloon, and thank you, Ms., uh, Jan. Mrs., uh, Jan, Jan, Jan. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Uh, listen, we really would appreciate it if you'd let us know anything you find out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm going to be late practice. Want to share a cab? No, I've got some things I have to do. Aren't you going to be late? Uh -huh. Why don't you meet me for lunch? Howard? Hmm? I'm going. Oh. Why don't you come down and pick me up for lunch at the studio? Hmm? Okay. Hello, Miss Ramsey. Why do people do that? It's really creepy going around hiding all the time. Some people are afraid. Oh, what? She sees us every day. She's not in Westchester anymore. The city, there are things to be afraid of. Some people just don't want to be intruded upon. Yeah, well, I still think it's creepy. Oh, but that's charming, yelling at old ladies. <laughs> Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.
Bye. I love you. <laughs> I love you. There was a man asking about you, Mr. Falloon. Who was it, Albert? Uh, I don't know. Uh, he didn't tell me his name. Hmm. Well, what did he look like? Oh, nice. Very, very nice. Did he say what he wanted? Just uh, asking about you. I don't remember the details. Just uh, asking. Did he leave any message? Hmm. No. Well, look, Albert, if he comes back, Try to get his name, will you? No, oh, sure. Now tell me exactly what happened. Well, I looked out the window and I saw him. Yeah? He's right there on the 15th floor. Uh, Where he was? And you could see him? Well, I saw him then. All the way over there. I was using the glasses. All right, then what happened? Well... Oh, that fuse. I light a candle.
you killed Mary. You scared me to death. Come here. Come on. Get, 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 get. Get, 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 get. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mrs. Ramsey, you must have seen him. But I didn't. Mrs. Ramsey, uh, do you remember anything? Did you see this man? You didn't see him. You heard nothing. Is that correct? I didn't see him, and I didn't hear She's anything. She's lying. She had to see him. Mrs. Oh. Ramsey, uh, Mrs. Ramsey, you may go. Thank you very much. Release him. Now, look, I'm going to do the questioning around here. You got that? You don't get anywhere by yelling at frightened witnesses. I'm not trying to be polite, Lieutenant. A man tried to kill me. Or a man tried to kill you now. Did he ask you for your money? It wasn't a mugger. It was a sniper. That man deliberately lured me into the basement. What do you look like? Well, I don't really know. It was so dark, it was just a, a blur. What do you mean, a blur? What do you think I am, Sherlock Holmes? I'll check on it. What does that mean? Check on what? Mr. Fallon, what do you want? Protection. I'm working on it. Yeah, the hell you are. Now, look, we only have so many men available in the department for protection right now. And you're no help. You saw the suspect two times, right? Two times you can't give us a description. Now, if we don't know what he looks like, how are we supposed to know what to protect you from, huh? A maniac. All right, which one? The man on the 15th floor with a rifle? Look, I told you about that. Yeah, well, it's not an old lady. Look, Ralph, she tried to kill me twice. What more do you need? At least come up to that apartment with me. Let me prove to you that there's no old lady living there. We checked it out. She's living there. All right. If you won't come up there with me, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab the first cop I see near that building, and I'm going to tell him that someone fired on me from that window. I wouldn't do that if I were you. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to have my fiancé stand outside that building and scream rape until a cop comes. Oh, you're really serious, aren't mm -hmm. you? And then I'm going to have her call the newspapers and identify you as the rapist. Can I help you? Get the super. She's a little deaf. And she's a little, uh, well, not all to home no more. Do you have any visitors lately? Oh, Louise? <laughs> not that I know of. How about uh, male relatives, a son, a grandson, anybody that come by and maybe stay overnight? Well, I never heard of one. Oh, she don't get any company that I know of. That's uh, part of her problem. Hello, Louise. It's Mr. Banks. Oh. Yeah, well, you open up the door now, you hear? That this is Mr. Banks. Mr. Banks? Uh-huh. Oh, all right. <laughs> Say hello to Mr. Roger. Uh, hello. hello to Mr. Banks. <laughs> Come on. Say hello. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. Uh, Louise, uh, these gentlemen are from the police. They'd like to ask you a few questions. Now, you just tell them whatever it is they want to know now. All right. You be a good boy. Don't you do anything bad, huh? <laughs> you be a good boy. You behave yourself. He's just a puppy, but he's awful wild. I'm Detective Roush. Oh. This is my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, Louise. <laughs> Have you had any male visitors in the last three days? 
This is my boyfriend, and he left me. <laughs> oh, I'm just jealous. Uh, Louise, now what I asked you was, have you had any visitors in the last three days, or... <laughs> or, um, uh, anybody made any deliveries here, groceries, or drink anything like that? Mr. Fallon, what do you think you're doing? I was just looking. For what? What do you expect to do, find them here, Hardy, in the I closet? don't know exactly. Yeah, it figures. Now, look, we don't have a search warrant. You shouldn't be here in the first place. Look, you heard what she said about the super. He's been here. Yeah, he's been here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. That's all we need. Thanks for your trouble. Oh, don't go yet. Please don't go. Roger you want you to stay. Tell him to stay, Roger. What? Tell him to stay. Well, we really can't take any more of your time. Oh, please, let me make a cup of tea. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, we'd love a cup of tea, but we have to really go. Thank you. Oh, don't go yet. Stay. All right, so I was wrong. You got a free ride this time. Don't threaten me again. Well, I'm telling you, I saw. Did you hear me? Apart yeah. Good. The flu wants you to go to work. Go to a movie. See your girlfriend. Do something. Get your mind on something else. Let's go. Now you want it 12. 14. Mommy, I got a whistle. Stop that. But I gotta. You can whistle when you get to your father's. Your father would just love to have you whistle. 12. floor here, is there? They never have that. No, it's a, it's a kind of uh, <laughs> superstition. Of course. That means I've been one floor off. Albert, take me back down. I have to see the super again. You just missed it. <sighs> Who lives in 16C? I know one. It's vacant. Well, it's not for rent, if that's what you want. But no one lives there. What does that mean? Look, pal, I just work here. I don't explain people. Who has the key to that apartment? Well, while the super's gone, I do. Well, I'd certainly like to get in there. Look, pal, if it was up to me, no sweat. But it's worth my job if the super was to find out. I know there's no 13th floor, Mr. Flone. Give us a little credit. We checked into it. The rent has been paid in advance. And the tenant hasn't been back since his wife and son were killed during a robbery. Well, where is he now? What we have on him is maybe Bermuda, maybe Jamaica, someplace where he can forget, I guess. How do you know he didn't come back? Bye, Mr. Flynn. some abstract thing they call a crowd. I mean, I mean the people in it. I hate them. As individuals, for their own sakes. You know, when I'm standing in the subway, and then there's, suddenly there's this glut of people come swooping down onto the platform, I can generally pick out 10, 20, 30 individuals who are Howard. thoroughly despicable. Oh, guess what? I, I got a part. Oh, yeah, that's great. They're doing the tempest downtown in modern dress, and I'm going to be Miranda. Isn't that terrific? It's not in this, uh, in this place? No, no, no. This is just some Broadway thing. Oh. Well, isn't that terrific? Yeah, it is. It really is terrific. 
Oh, Howard, don't be like that. This is important to me. Can't you get excited? I'm excited, Jan. It's just that I've had a... I don't know, it's been a strange day. Well, let's go home and celebrate. But you can only come along if you promise to be cheerful. Now, I learned this from a maitre d' turned actor. Well, I knew getting a part was an occasion, but this is too much. Howard, I'm really going to need a lot of help with this character. I really want to get inside this woman, become Miranda. A lot of famous people have played this part, and I, I want to be distinctive. Maybe I'll play her with a limp. Howard. Howard. Hmm? I was making a joke. Where's your sense of humor? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I left it at the police station. What does that mean? I thought you'd never ask. You only cook crepe Suzette very well, but you also wear it beautifully. What do you want? Perfection? Uh, I'll settle for you. <laughs> I can always get you a bib. Howard? Huh? What are we going to do about Roche? Well, I'm going to have to convince him there's a man in that apartment. Yeah, and how do we do that? I don't know. I guess I'll just have to chain him in front of that window until the man shows up. I think I may have a better idea. Well, that's not hard. What is it? Why don't we just take his picture? shot happened to be your idea. How far would you say that building is? I'd say about uh, 200 yards. Not far, huh? Yeah. Back to the book. Hmm. Interesting. What? It says here to forget about it. <laughs> Won't you be serious? Right. Try that. Sure I'll get anything in this light? I'll push it a couple of stops. You're working with a very talented amateur. Get down.
Is this as clear as you can get it? Yeah. And what if you, uh, you know, what if you blew it up more? It'd be bigger and grainier. Well, isn't there some way that you could kind of intensify it somehow? Well, I could make it less grain and smaller. Smaller. Some option. Well, I think they're good pictures. Yeah, well, that's because you're responsible for them. I am not. You took them. Yeah, well, they're not very good pictures. Well, they look like a lot of people. This one doesn't. Do you really think you could recognize him from that? I know I could. I don't think so. I mean, that really could be anybody. Well, I don't think so. Oh, let's face it, Jan, they're worthless. If I brought these into Rouse, she'd laugh me right out of the station. Well, I'd recognize him. <laughs>
stop, lady. You've got to let me get off here. It's against the law, lady. I'm going to be sick. Stay away from him. Don't go near him, do you hear me? I'm being careful, but you better hurry. Stop yelling, Howard. I'm safe enough, I promise. No, I won't do anything else. Just get over here. Leave me alone. What? I'll forget what I saw. I'll forget everything. Just leave me alone. Mister, what's the matter with you? <laughs> You're crazy. Oh, come on, don't pretend you don't know me. You know me. The game's over, so stop playing. Mister, you're not well. You leave me alone. Help. I'm telling you, leave me alone. Look, I'm willing to forget what I saw. I'm willing to forget everything. But if you try anything else, I'll, be, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. What's wrong, sir? I'll kill you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Why don't you just move along, sir? Leave me alone. You're all excited and everything. Why don't you just go on outside and go home? Howard, don't you think it's time you talk to somebody? Listen, we gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. You should have seen the way I behaved in that bank. Jan, we've gotta go somewhere. Howard, we can't just leave. I, I've gotta start rehearsal in two weeks. Well, I don't mean, I don't mean leave town. I don't mean. Out of here, out of this building. We can go to a hotel for a couple of days until we can find someplace else. Oh, really? Now, listen to me. Listen, assuming that what happened to me in the basement had nothing to do with anything else, which I don't believe for a minute, if that man in the bank is the same man that I saw with that rifle, then he knows beyond a doubt that I know who he is. And he probably knows that you know, too. feel safe as long as I'm around. You going to take anything? According to Roush, the guy who used to live in that apartment had his wife and child killed during a robbery. That's 
enough to drive anybody around the bend. Whoever was guilty was ever caught. You can bet on that. So if he can't get justice from anyone in particular, he must be trying to get it from the whole city by taking random pot shots at people in the park. You don't know that. Do you want to take the chance that I'm right and not do anything about it? He's psychotic, and now he's worried. Howard. Now, come on. Howard, I don't want to leave. Look, suppose he saw you following him. He didn't. Oh, Jeff. I suppose I ought to keep you company. Oh, you might have to leave, but there's no reason to be grim about it. Would you get us a taxi? Sure. Going on that little trip? Huh? I'm just going to a hotel for a couple of days. We're running away from home. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Taxi, taxi. Well, what do you think? Well, I don't know. Seems complete enough. I like it. Maybe a little overpriced. Oh, Howard, don't be like that. It's practically our honeymoon. Think of all the people who've been together in this room. Isn't that erotic? Other people? Oof, no. Well, I think it's erotic. I think you're erotic. Oh. Well, in that case. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, not just a minute. You know what's scary? Huh. Well, it's not that I love you so much. Well, it isn't scary. It's that I like you so much. You're not just my love. You're my best friend. Service. Packages for Mr. Falone. Oh, he's in the shower. I'll have to sign for it. Do I know you? What is it? Howard, are we expecting any packages from room service? <laughs>
she has a chance. Are you satisfied, Rush? Huh? If you believed me from the beginning, that never would have happened. Look, you know how much crime there is in this city. We're working around the clock. With the little evidence I have in this case, it's all I could do. It's procedure. Procedure. She's lying there half alive. Is that part of your procedure? Look, you shouldn't have tried to handle this on your own. What are you going to do about it, Rush? Get him out of here. What are you going to do about it? That maniac is loose. You can't find him. You, you can't stop him. You can't do anything. Take it easy. Now, you just on. keep your damn Keep your butt. Nurse. I can't. Take past your Take it easy. Nurse. Get him. Get him. Set it. Set it. No need a sedative. <laughs> Well, you come back and tell me all about it when you do. Now, let's go. Let's go. Hey, man, I'm a customer. Let's go. Let's go. Good, let's leave it that way. Now, out. What do you need? Oh, I, uh, I want to buy a pistol. Oh, uh, that's illegal. Well, I have a permit. I uh, just, uh, I lost it. Huh. Look, I, uh, need the gun. Wish I could help you, mister. See, I have a business. I need protection. You can understand that. Yes, I can. I sympathize. Our uh, gun control laws are made to restrict the criminal element. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. You don't look like a criminal. Maybe... Maybe you had a, a burglary here. Maybe uh, a pistol was stolen. A bad pilferage problem. I could bring you the permit just as soon as I find it. Well... Honest people should be able to defend themselves. I wanted a 16C. Why, well, can't let you in there. I have to get in there right now. Oh, Mr. Taylor pays rent on that apartment. I can't. Now. I I'll get the keys.
car right now. Where is he? Who? The man who lives here, where is he? Mr. Taylor, I, I haven't seen him for weeks. He's got to be here. He's got to be. You can see for yourself. He's got to be here.
you would have left this up to me, it wouldn't have happened. If you'd done your job, it wouldn't have been too late for Jan. Look, in this city, we're a little late for everybody. For Loom, we happen to be outnumbered. Your girlfriend's gonna be all right. Well, what about the rest of us? Thank you.